what's up my journals let's get into how to make a youtube thumbnail using instagram so you're gonna open up your photos app so this is the video that i just got done recording and it is saved to my phone so of course it is in my photos app so what i'm going to do is find the key frame that i would like to be in my thumbnail this also works too if you want to just use a random stock photo, but for the most part for my thumbnails, I'm taking a screenshot or a frame from a video that I have already recorded and uploaded to my phone. So right now I am just skimming through the video kind of quick fast and i'm trying to find the keyframe that i want i prefer something where i'm smiling looking friendly because again this is your thumbnail this is what people see before they even watch your video so for the most part you want it to be pretty friendly and catchy so i'm trying to get it right where i want it so i can take a screenshot and again i'm trying to get the frame where i am smiling once i have what i think i might want to use as a thumbnail i pause it and i really zoom in be sure it's not blurry or anything like that and then i take a couple of screenshots and really decide if that is the keyframe that i would like to be my thumbnail i think right now i couldn't necessarily get the keyframe that i was looking for so we're just going to go to my photos and use the one that i already screenshot because i don't know i couldn't find it while i was screen recording trying to show y'all but i already have the keyframe screenshot in my photos so we're just going to go ahead and go find it so i made my photos app and this right here is the screenshot of the actual keyframe that i would like to use as my base so again, I'm zooming in, trying to be sure that the picture is pretty clear. So I have clearly made up my mind now, like, okay, this is the one we're going to use. And just so I won't get confused because I had a couple of them, I went ahead and deleted the other one. So again, we are just in the photos app. This is a screenshot, this is a photo. So in the photos app, you are able to edit your photos and crop. So at the very top of the photo, we're going to hit edit. Y'all see my little pointer finger? Don't play with it. Don't ask you why it's so light. Okay, so we're going to hit edit. And then at the bottom, you can see where you can crop your photos and everything. You see how I'm moving it up and down, left and right, rotate it. You can do all of this within the actual photos album on an iPhone, okay? I don't know how things work over there on the Android side, okay? So, okay, so now we are going to just go ahead and crop the photo. The photo itself is already the size of your typical YouTube thumbnail. That's what happens when you record long ways. What is that, horizontal? When you record long ways, it's already that frame. That's the good thing about taking an actual keyframe from an actual video because you don't really have to do any sizing, okay? So now we are cropping the photo. So I've hit save and this is our base for our thumbnail. That's it for this step, step one. So, okay, I've already started to make my thumbnail, but then it dawned on me. I'm like, you know what? I did this so quick and easy. Like it's other people who probably want to do the same thing. So you're going to open up your Instagram app. You do need Instagram for this. Okay. Even if you're not posting it on there, you need you an Instagram app. Okay. So open up your Instagram app. Once you open up Instagram, you're going to act like you're about to create a story. And you know, when you're going to create a story, then you go to your camera row so now that i have my camera row up we are going to find the photo that we just cropped in favorite so it's going to be in my favorite favorites um album so here it is I found the photo so we are in instagram this is the photo right here the keyframe again that we're using for our base so step one is done now we are going to swipe back over into our photos app so i have a couple of screenshots of some of the icons is what i'm gonna call it that i would like to have added to my actual thumbnail so it's not just plain jane you want to have a little visual so that way people know what your video is pertaining to so for instance since this thumbnail is going to be for a fall boot 
haul i have a couple of the boots that i think i would like to feature on the actual thumbnail so this right here is one of the boots i would like to add what you're going to do is after you find your icon which i highly suggest you do this first find all of your icons already have a screenshot it in your phone so you'll be ready once it's time to do your actual um thumbnail even though you should already have your icons because whatever you're featuring or talking about in your video you might have already had it um screenshots to have in your actual video and if not of course then just go on google or wherever and find the icons that you want to be on your actual thumbnail so i really like this one so i'm going to hold down the screen this is the best feature iphone could have ever done and you see up at the top it says copy at sticker you see it starts to highlight so i'm holding pressing down on the actual icon and then i'm back into the instagram app now you're in the photos app you're going to hit copy and then back into the instagram app and now we are going to hit paste so when you're in the instagram app you're going to touch the screen as if you're getting ready to type the little blue line should come up and then that's when you are able to hit paste so all we just did was just copy and paste this icon which was just a screenshot that we had in our photos album from what we were talking about in our video and then literally you're just going to keep repeating this step again it's so easy i call this the lazy way of making a thumbnail all the other videos that i used to watch as far as making a thumbnail just made it seem so hard and complex when it really isn't it really isn't y'all so now that i have pasted that outfit i'm just fooling around with it and seeing where i wanted to place that one piece now i'm moving along i'm still in the photos at this is my second icon that i want to add to the thumbnail so what are we going to do hold and press down on the actual icon while you're in while you're in the photos app hit copy go back into the instagram app i'm scrolling i don't know what i'm scrolling and doing oh okay i think i wanted to actually do it from this screenshot because sometimes too that um photos app i don't know it can act a little iffy so if you have a hold down on image and it isn't coming up highlighted for you to copy then just try to screenshot it again or try it from another image so as you can see i'm trying it again from the actual screenshot of a different page and it worked so i hit copy just in case again that's just if it doesn't work for you guys so press down on the actual icon of course it comes up and it says copy that's where you are going to hit and press and you should see it highlighting so you know it went through act like you're about to type back on instagram onto your story and then you're going to hit paste so again you just keep repeating these steps and then just play around with the placement because that also um, plays a major part, I feel as though, as far as when um, with the thumbnail. Like, it's nothing like having the right font and the right placement. So, as you can see, too, on the Instagram app, if you hold those icons down, you kind of have, like, those lock symbols that come up. Because also, Instagram has improved it to where you can actually lock an image down. So, your images aren't moving all over the place. So, you can lock them slide them to lock them and slide them to unlock them and that is very helpful for the most part i don't really lock down my images um because i'm just so used to them moving and i know how to just keep them out of my way and so i really get down packed like the placement of where i want everything but um definitely use those tools if that would be more helpful for you to be able to lock the images down because i know that's why a lot of people do not like doing things on their story because the objects and icons are steady moving but yes instagram definitely has the lock feature so that definitely comes in handy i can kind of speed this process up like i said literally it's just me repeating the step and you're going to keep repeating that step for however many icons you are wanting to place on your actual thumbnail so again you're just back and forth from the photos at copying and then back into instagram pasting um when i know i have a whole lot of icons what i typically would start to do as well is just place the icons on top until i get until i learn how i actually want my thumbnail to be it's definitely important that you have some type of visual in your head 
of how you see your thumbnail. So I knew, of course, for me that I just wanted like little icons of the boots that I'll be featuring in the video. So I knew I wanted like a whole bunch of those to be featured. So I'm going to just start putting them kind of up at the top when we get to like the ankle boots. So that way I can really get an overall view of how I'm going to place all of them. Cause you don't want it to be looking too scattered. You don't want really too much going on in the thumbnail, but again, you want to give an overall visual of, okay, this is clearly what the video is about and kind of give them like a sneak peek of what they're going to see. Um, same thing like when it comes to Instagram reels, you know, we kind of start off the reel already showing you what it's going to be about. So it's the same thing when you think about it with your actual thumbnail. It's kind of like a hook. You really want to be able to hook your audience in. And even though other people make their thumbnails and other apps and all of that, to be honest, y'all, by the title, if you have a catchy title, that alone would get you a lot of clicks. So sometimes too, don't overthink it sometimes when it comes to your thumbnail. If you go through my channel, I have a lot of videos that you know, really got high engagement and views. And the thumbnails weren't even all that. I think I made them right here off Instagram. So that would be my other tip too. Don't overthink it too much when you come to your thumbnail. Of course, you want it to be crisp and clear and straight to the point, but don't overthink it, y'all. Just try to be sure it really just and symbols on what your video is going to be about so people know what to expect and right here what i'm doing is placing them kind of like over top of each other because i'm trying to be sure that they're all kind of like the same size i didn't want um you know some boots being bigger or smaller so that's how i do it to really line them up to be sure everything is about the same size in the same proportion so that's the easy way that you can do that of just hovering it over top of each other to see if the sizes match. So as you see, I have them up top, like out of the actual thumbnail. Again, because I know that I'm gonna be moving them around to check the sizes and I don't know the placement that I want for them just yet. So anything in the gray areas is not a part of your thumbnail, okay? So now I'm going up to the top. I'm hitting the stickers icon and I'm trying to find me a little pointer to really help me to, um, you know, help navigate you guys. So this is just me looking for a pointer. But this also helps um, and it's good for this video just to let you know, for the most part, too, Instagram has a lot of icons and um, PNGs and GIFs and graphics that usually we have to Google think smart y'all not hard it like it's all within the instagram app for the most part i promise you okay so now i have my little pointer or whatever so i'm gonna show y'all what i'm talking about but yeah all of those up there in the gray area you will not see in your thumbnail anything in a gray area is out of the frame okay so that's why of course we're going to minimize all of our icons and get them to where it's going to be actually on our base photo okay so that's basically what i'm showing you all right now um with the pointer so okay so all of this space over here to my left is always good to have some type of open space so what i'm showing you you all right now with the pointer is all of the open space and letting y'all know that that's for the most part where i plan on moving these boots around to kind of fit because i don't really want to of course cover up my face so this little area if you have any like blank space within your thumbnail that's the perfect place to be able to add your your fonts and um your, your descriptions titles or any icons that you may have again you don't really want to cover up your actual face if you're going to have your face a part of the thumbnail now of course if you have just a blank canvas baby do your thing okay so right now you just see me just playing around with the placements um because i didn't want them just like stacked up just in a long row i felt like that wasn't really going to do it again i like to have my thumbnails real crisp and clear and clean honey and just really looking like i put a little bit of time and effort into it you know so that's why i love this way too because it's like it's the lazy way but at the same time it gives like okay you 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 took your time and made you a cute little thumbnail like 
you ain't just get a blank photo and just was like boot haul thumbnail like no you actually got like little boots up there you know i just feel like it really gravitates the audience in, and that's of course what we want like the goal is to get views you ain't making these videos for nothing okay it is to get value and get views and be sure that it reaches the right audience and your thumbnail is what's going to help you to do that so now we are going to go ahead and rearrange these last two icons here i'm going to just go ahead and overlap them over this one outfit so i went ahead and already locked the outfit so the outfit won't move while i'm hovering over top of it so if you're doing anything with overlapping then i definitely will recommend go ahead and lock the icon so it won't be in your way it won't be moving around all right now let me get my little handy zanny pointer or whatever so again i can really show y'all and y'all won't be confused so okay now with my little handy zanner pointer we are going to hit right up here again we're just in the instagram app they already have everything you need fonts icons gifts all of that i'm telling y'all so okay let's go ahead and hit the text icon so now we're going to go ahead and write out our title which again this is a thumbnail for a fall boot haul so as you can see instagram already provides us with different types of text fonts and also different colors now there are several different other apps that i know people use as well to get them like you know different funky creative fonts but baby again sometimes just don't overthink it i keep it real simple okay and i for the most part just use the fonts that's right here within the actual instagram app so i'm using that white space that i had up above my head and felt like that was the perfect space to just go ahead and write fall boots so i'm just playing around now with different fonts and styles to see which one i will like better that's really all that it is just playing around with different things and finding out what really catches your eye or what's your preference and moving around with like the sizes and stuff i personally like titles on thumbnails to be big and bold um because yeah people are scrolling through millions of videos every day baby i need mine to boom like really pop and you know stick out so yeah i really try to stick with bold fonts if i can especially as much as possible like sit nobody be trying to squint to see the title of your video so be sure that you be mindful of like even like the colors you be using some people be using all these light colors like honey i can't even read what that say okay um so yeah so now that we're done with that as far as the top part i'm showing y'all again how you see how i have fall boots but it's still within the actual thumbnail if it goes a little bit above that part will be cut off you want to definitely be sure while placing your font that everything is on the base photo because that is your actual thumbnail anything going around you're out of bounds also with instagram you have filters so depending on what type of style you're looking for me personally i don't really want to do no filters for them thumbnail but depending on the look that you're going for it's so quick and easy because they already have thumbnails for y'all so now we are going to hit the stickers icon that was up at the top and right now what am i looking for oh okay i got my little pointer thing again y'all let me talk about my little pointer so okay now with the pointer we are going to hit the actual button up at the top which are the three dots and i'm going to go ahead and save the only thing i will say about instagram is it does not save as you go along that is the only downfall so always every now and then just hit save because if you hit back you can save the draft but i just always to be on the safe side hit save every chance i get so now we're going to hit the stickers icon and i'm just showing y'all like all the different things that y'all can look up like when i'm doing a target thumbnail sometimes i will go up here type in target and get like the little bullseye you know target looking logo um whatever logo for the most part that you're looking for if you're doing something for walmart instead of you going to go like google walmart logo png baby you could just go right up in here and type in walmart you don't have to do all that paste and copying and trying to find the png file or the jpeg file or you know you're doing something dealing with notes or anything for the most part again 
that you shall need for the most part it is right here on instagram if you search through their stickers so that's why again why i just go ahead and use them so i'm just right here just playing around uh, with different keywords that you know you guys can search just to kind of give you guys a gist okay It's great for if you're doing like a shopping haul or a mini vlog or for like this thumbnail, how to make a thumbnail using an iPhone. I'm needing like an Instagram logo. So yeah, I just type in Instagram or whatever it is that I need. But again, y'all get what I'm saying. Look it up, honey, on the actual stickers tab here on Instagram. So, okay, now what are we about to do? Because I forgot, what am I showing you okay so we just going back to text again so also without like overloading my thumbnail with words i try though to be as specific as far as the details as i can so even though that these are fall boots i also want to really emphasize the sizes that these boots come in which will really then help to gravitate people because people don't got time to figure out like okay she just doing women's fall boots or is it for certain you know sizes whatever the case may be so people don't got time to sit there and be clicking and trying to figure out it's better if you already give them or answer some of the questions that you know that they may have because you got people that might have big feet or small feet that's scrolling and they're probably like okay she probably don't even have my size or these boots probably don't come in my size but you're already solving one of their questions by them just scrolling down youtube by seeing like okay it says sizes 6 to 13 or whatever the case may be that's why we emphasize with fashion hauls and stuff like that you know plus size or how to make thumbnails on iphone so that way people that already have androids they already know okay this might not apply to me if not with this right here it does apply to them but it just should be harder for them to get the icons because again with iphones you could just hold it down and copy and paste it but if they have instagram i guess they can still use it i just don't know how android users will be able to get the icon so if any androids um users are watching i'm sorry i don't know how that will work as far as the icons but the same concept will apply as far as using instagram but try to be as detailed as you can without overloading us with your thumbnail with too many words so again i'm just playing around now with the sizing and the fonts because i really want to add to the thumbnail size of 6 to 13 so my women my ladies will know well men too because some men like these boots too we ain't gonna go into all that but anyway i want people to know that scrolling like hey like i got something for y'all you know it's going to catch your eyes because it's like hold on size six or size you know whatever size you are it's like hold on she got something for me honey like this video would be valuable to me she got my size up there so always try to emphasize those keywords on your thumbnail but again make it look nice you know don't just be having just the words all over the place or scramble all over the place try to be as bold and direct as you can without overloading the screen so yeah that's just what you see me doing here just seeing if i want to place it down there since i had that little extra white space um in the corner so it seems like it would go perfect there or do i want to switch it up and add it someplace else this is literally just how i go about with creating my thumbnails y'all And what I would do too is, again, I just would keep saving. So you see right now, I'm already saving because I have it where I have sizes 6 to 13 on the bottom left. But then I would do another design as well. So I just switch it up. So now, as you can see, I'm moving it along to see like where else can I fit it. But even though I'm switching it, I still have one save of my original design. So again, just always be sure that you save 
as you go along because of course once you hit save you're only getting how the actual image is formatted right then and there okay so if you like one design but you kind of iffy about it that's okay like go ahead and save it make your other design save it like make all the designs you want at one time because again once you hit back you cannot then re-upload this picture and rearrange boots and all of that so be sure to everything is how you want it to be that is the only other downfall as well other um apps and stuff you know usually you can go back into the app if you made an error and kind of adjust it this is instagram baby so there's no going back and editing anything once you make this and you save it that's it it's a done deal so i just always try to keep instagram open and always of course double look over my work because again once you save it it's final so as y'all can see i moved it and i'm trying to decide if i like it like that i actually think that i do because i try to keep all of the fonts in one location so you can just read everything at one time it's not like i'm sending you on a maze like i got over here far boots but then over to the left and say this over to the right i don't try to have it to where words are just everywhere so once you save all of your multiple designs again always be sure that you hit through that to save and then we're going to go back into our actual photo album and as you can see i have some where i have the size part written down there i have some where i have the size part written up here and so on and so on so again you want to have different styles um and want to be sure that you just have them all saved because again there's no going back honey be sure you check your work all right so now we are going to go into youtube studio and i'm going to show you how you can see that i didn't do any cropping or necessarily fitting or anything once you go into youtube studio your thumbnail will already fit i don't even have to crop my photo because again this is already taken from a already sized youtube video i hope i'm making sense so i just went down to an old video of mine we're going to hit edit and then hit the little picture icon up at the left side change thumbnail and i'm going to show y'all again of how you just upload it boom look at that so you see the gray areas like i was telling you all the gray areas is not going to make it in as far as the actual overall view for your thumbnail so you want to be sure that everything was on that main base photo which it is nothing is cut off none of my words is cut off or anything like that everything would fit and then i even can kind of pinch it and zoom in a little bit more if i really really want my photo to um, be expanded as far as taking up the whole entire size for the thumbnail but again you want to be sure that nothing is in the gray area because it will not be seen and then you would just go up to the right hand corner and you will save it and your thumbnail will be done and then this is the last screen that comes up um, after you will be hitting save it will then take you back to this screen where you know you have your title your description hashtag all this and that and then yeah you would hit save and then just that quick your thumbnail will be done and me when it comes to my thumbnails i'm a little extra so i then go into the app called pixart because i really like to be sure um that it just comes across real bold you know and it doesn't look too faded or too washed away so when you're in pixart you hit the plus um button up at the bottom upload your photo and that's what i'm doing now i'm uploading my photo you are going to hit fx um and then after you hit fx this may will come up hit fx again or hdr i think is what it is and then i just play around with the saturation with the saturation and the unsharp feature because again i just like it to come across a real sharp and real saturated so it's just like real crisp and clear because i feel like too the more people really feel like you you know really put some thought and whatnot into your thumbnail they will be more prone to click on it than it just looking like you ain't care or have a care in the world and you just uploading stuff so always try to aim for it to look crisp and clear um so that's what i'm doing now of course you don't want to add too much sharpness or saturation like you don't want to look 
you know but just play around with it and um get it to your liking i can't even tell y'all what number i will put mine on because for each different photo or thumbnail because i use it pretty much for a lot of my photos um the numbers of course change because it all depends on how good or, or the quality of the photo um and it's already original state so it really just all depends so i'm not even gonna give you a number but you can see here what i did for mine and then y'all go ahead save if i ever don't let y'all save because they want y'all to pay honey to of course up. we can get around with that baby we just be screenshotting okay um but yeah it's definitely free because look, look at these daggone eggs like get these eggs off my phone and again me just adding the extra stripeness is just optional if you're okay with how the photo already looks then you definitely will already be done um but yeah you will go back into youtube studio or just youtube um on your desktop or phone upload your new thumbnail and hit save and y'all will be complete i definitely hope that this video was helpful and this is just my lazy creative way of how i do my youtube thumbnails make sure y'all share like and subscribe and thank y'all so much for watching bye